Back on Fantasy Live, let's check out the FedEx ground rankings and see some of these running backs that have had a lot of success, but we're looking for guys who are going to score two touchdowns mm -hmm. this week, most likely to score two rushing touchdowns this week, Cynthia Freeman. I'm going with Ezekiel Elliott on this one. Interestingly enough, look, this division game, I think it's going to be higher scoring than people might think. I do like the Dallas defense, I told you, but I think there's some sneaky things that can always happen between divisional foes. Four total touchdowns in the last three games, eight touches inside the opponent's 10-yard line. That's sixth most in the NFL. I think Zeke is part of the reason why this offense is go. He's kind of like the straw that stirs the drink or whatever that expression is. I should not do those expressions. I always mess them no, up. Fine. But yeah, <laughs> straws, <laughs> drinking, stirring, Ezekiel Elliott, two touchdowns. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go. no, I, I, I silenced I, the crowd. I'm totally done with that. Uh, I'm going to go Alvin Kamara uh, this week against the Washington football team. One, that, that football team defense has not been as stout as we thought it was going to be. But also, uh, for as confounding as the Saints have been, He's pretty much the offense. I mean, 46% of the touches, 31% of the scrimmage yards. Uh, now he's he's got a defense, like I said, has not been particularly great. They have struggled against running backs. So uh, if there's ever a chance to really get Alvin Kamara going, I think this is the week. Yeah, he, sometimes he just needs a break. You, you know who used to give him a break? Latavius Murray. But now he is in Baltimore, and they got the number six defense against running backs coming up in Indianapolis Colts. But... It was the number one defense against running backs in the Denver Broncos, and Latavius Murray had a rushing touchdown. I think Lamar makes things so different. Uh, they might not score on the long touchdowns. The Colts one of the best teams in the league at preventing those long touchdown plays. So, more opportunity for Latavius Murray, perhaps, to get a couple of the rushing touchdowns, which would be great for a lot of folks' uh, fantasy teams. Let's keep it on the running backs here, Rank. So, that, so Javier's lineup, we're starting. We're putting Latavius Murray in the flex. Yeah, maybe, maybe Javier. I don't know. I don't I know, Javier. Let Watch Friday's show. Let's come back. Let's circle back. <laughs> he, like uh, Javi's got a good team, but if it's not Javi, let's general starts All and right. sits, running back position. Give us some starts, right? Well, I'm going to say Damian Williams because Cynthia has now challenged me to mention a bear in every segment. <laughs> and uh, challenge accepted. I think that if you were rewarded with Damian Williams off the waiver wire this week, you definitely should start him against the Raiders who've allowed the seventh most fantasy points per game this season. And honestly, the last time that we saw Damian Williams – he was helping the Kansas City Chiefs win a Super Bowl. Probably should have been the Super Bowl MVP. Yes. So I think that he's a great start this week, and I would, would not hesitate to get him into the lineup. And on the other side of the, of the line there, for Josh Jacobs, he returned on Monday night against the Los Angeles Chargers. I was really impressed by the amount of targets that he got. I would have liked a few more yards out of it, but he was getting a targeted a lot out of the backfield. And one of the things that you noticed is the Chargers were getting a lot of pressure on Derek. And so I think the Bears, with their improved pass rush this season, Sean Desai has done a great job. I think they're gonna to try to do a lot of quick passes to Josh Jacobs this season, or this game, which should lead to a lot of fantasy points. Hope to see Josh Jacobs fully healthy at some point this season. Give us some sits at running back. Right? Well, I, I have sits that you could probably release. Ronald Jones, obviously has been taken out of the, out of the equation with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The only reason he scored a touchdown was because Leonard Fournette was too tired to go back out there on the field in Foxborough. Let's be honest. Like, I'm That's it. I'm not telling tales out of school. Like, Rojo is not going to be a part of this offense. And everybody, there was somebody online, and I know that I always reference these anonymous people who's like, give up the Giovanni Bernard thing. Like, why? When Gio's healthy, he's the pass catching He's the pass catching back. Was it you? No. Anyways, I want the I want the, Miles, the graphic. I'm Miles calling for the Gaskin graphic. Is my other guy. And you could graphic, probably graphic. You, graphic. You could also probably uh, drop him as well. He's averaging eight fantasy points per game this year. That's 47th amongst running backs. 47. 47. Twelve snaps against the Colts on Sunday. The Buccaneers have allowed the few, third fewest fantasy points to running backs this season. Okay. Yes! Hey! Hey, Cynthia calls for the Geo Stash, and the Geo Stash appears. Now I get it. Ask and you shall. I was receive. like, come on, please give me it. 